Well, we're in AD 29 again. This is event 38. And uh, it really deals with legalism. It deals with uh, hypocrisy. Uh, it really deals with quite a few things. It's found in two of the Gospels. It's found in Matthew 15. It's found in Mark 7. Mark has, again, the most descriptive uh, detail, but we'll fill in with uh, Matthew's uh, commentation on this event. Uh, the scribes and the Pharisees have come all the way from Jerusalem to Galilee to Capernaum, uh, more than 65 miles. And they've come to find fault with Jesus and his disciples, and they decide to pick on the disciples for having unwashed hands eating bread. Now, that doesn't mean that the disciples didn't wash their hands. It means they didn't follow the traditional washing of hands before you eat. And uh, Paul had this problem himself at one time before Christ. In Galatians 1.14, he says so. He said, uh, you know, I was a Jew of all Jews, and I followed all of the traditions uh, of uh, the Jews and uh, recognized that that was legalism. And nevertheless, uh, these scribes and Pharisees have come from Jerusalem, and they're finding fault with the disciples and not washing their hands. And uh, they want to know from Jesus why... To your disciples do this and uh, we find a great answer he answers in scripture and the scripture he answers with is isaiah chapter 29 verse 13 he says in vain do you worship me following the doctrines of men rather than the commandments of god now, he's certainly talking about Exodus chapter 20, verse 12, where he goes on and says, honor your father and mother. Uh, and he says, but you don't do that. You, you, you just uh, use uh, a special provision of the law that you claim anything that you have that you might be able to help your father and mother with is Corbin. And that's explained uh, in Matthew uh, where he clearly explains what Corbin is, something dedicated to God that can't be used for anything else. Now, they didn't, didn't really plan to give it to God, but that was their way of getting out of helping their parents. And so he really nails them on the fact that uh, uh, they have been uh, following all of these traditions of men, uh, all of these laws that were not God's laws, and uh, neglecting the commandments of God, uh, which was to uh, honor your father and mother, which they obviously were not doing. So as we look at this particular section of scripture, we recognize uh, that there are multitudes around and they're listening to all of this that's going on. And they, they uh, are certainly probably perplexed by how Jesus is taking on these religious leaders of the day. And uh, we see that the Pharisees uh, are being told, if you have ears here, and when they get inside the house, Jesus' disciples come to him and uh, say, did you not know that you offended the Pharisees? And Jesus wasn't too worried about offending the Pharisees, especially when it came to hypocrisy. And we find uh, clearly in Matthew's account uh, that it was Peter who said, can you explain this parable to us? Uh, this uh, one about uh, you're not defiled by what you eat, but you're defiled by what you have come out of your heart. And uh, here we certainly see that Jesus makes clear a couple of things that uh, were important for the disciples to learn. First, uh, from Colossians 2.16, all food was clean. Uh, the dietary practices was legalism, was no longer necessary, and it wasn't what you ate that defiled you. It was what came out of your heart. And here Jesus explains that very thoroughly in both of the Gospels. He explains that uh, out of the heart comes all kinds of wickedness, adultery, murder, fornication, 
uh, slander, deceit, covetousness, all of these things come out of the heart. And he says what we eat uh, goes through the stomach and uh, is expelled from the body, is eliminated from the body. And that's not what defiles you. What defiles you is what comes out of your heart. And so he makes it very clear in the summary in Matthew chapter 15, verse 20, that uh, eating with unwashed hands does not defile you. And uh, Mark, he makes it very clear uh, that what comes out of the heart is what's uh, really important and that uh, the substance of what they ought to be really thinking about is Christ himself. It's a very interesting passage of scripture uh, because it talks seriously about hypocrisy, talks about the dietary practices, it talks about the, all of the traditions uh, that the Jews had added to the law. And uh, here we certainly see uh, that he defends his disciples and makes clear the hypocrisy of the scribes and the Pharisees. And I don't think he was a bit worried about def <laughs> of, of offending them. And uh, he was a little discouraged with Peter not understanding uh, just what he meant by what really defiles a man, not what he eats, but what comes out of his mouth and what comes out of his heart. And that's my thought for the day. God bless you. Have a great day. Have a great weekend, Labor Day weekend. And for all of you that are watching this, I hope you remember to pray for everyone in the path of the storm. Who knows where it's going to hit, but it certainly looks right now like it's going to hit Florida with a very severe wind. And we need to be in prayer for all of those in its path. God bless you and have a great weekend.